June has retained a really strong position on the high street. People can buy into trends without feeling that they're breaking the bank. They can enjoy a bit of fashion. My father always said to me, Daniel, whatever you do, do not become a shoe manufacturer. In 1992, the opportunity came along to get into retail, and that's, I guess, what I'd always wanted to do. The idea of having your own brand rather than selling to other people was very attractive. We saw a niche in the market for June. That niche was very much what we now call affordable luxury. It was producing shoes which were exciting, where there was a tremendous attention to detail in the product. They produce good quality, strongly fashion-led, trend-based footwear at accessible prices. I think of Dune as a brand that is young, British, as having a sort of fashion energy to it. The new store concept was launched in 2011, and this really changed the whole dynamic of the Dune brand. It has this unusual feature of the reverse catwalk, which is a very iconic feature within the store. But it also produced an environment that was ideal not only for ladies, but for men's shoes as well. One of the most exciting things about June is how well it works in really premium locations. Not only do we have our own solar sites, but we're also in the major department stores in the UK. Selfridges, House of Fraser, John Lewis, Debenhams, Topshop in Oxford Circus. We've just gone into Gallery Lafayette and we're one of the best performers there. We just opened our biggest store in the Mall of the Emirates in Dubai. And the exciting thing is that this store has performed exceptionally well. It's our biggest store in the world. Our girl's really after a timepiece. She's an, she wants an investment buyer with a real take of uniqueness that's going to take her through the season. And one of the most exciting developments over the last few years has been the success we've had with men's and accessories, in particular handbags. Accessories now account for almost 15% of our business, and that's growing season on season. June is now being recognized as a really desirable men's brand. Men are becoming more demanding in what they're wearing, more fashionable, and the June brand is really meeting that demand head on. I think June probably attracts two types of male shopper. The man who is very much led by fashion and is interested in trends, and then I think it also attracts a male shopper who wants a classic staple. The two most dynamic areas of growth of the brand are international and e-commerce. E-commerce now accounts for about 25% of our total business. Our website has seen exceptional growth over the past few years, and that growth is accelerating. One of the most exciting recent developments for the brand has been the establishment of June USA, which not only targets some of the key department stores with a wholesale offer, we also intend to launch a dedicated website in the States. In the autumn winter coming, we plan to open our first US store in a prime location in New York. My vision for June for the future is that we have a June store in all the major fashion capitals of the world. We want it to be a truly global brand.